Get it back. What is up guys, it's Silver here, and welcome to episode 256 of the FIFA 13 Karima. Today we have an away match against Sociedad in the Bieber VA, Bieber VA, okay, that is interesting. And then we have the most important match of the season so far, the first away match against Inter Milano in the Champions League on the same day, FC Bayern take on Juventus. So I'm going to be playing a weekend team in the league because just two days later we have the big boys at Inter, so it's going to be tough. But uh, as you can see, Benteke, Christian Tello, Thiago and Iniesta for a second team isn't too bad, not going to lie. That's probably a Premier League winning team and yet it's my second team. So uh, so yeah, there's that. We start off this game brightly with the first shot. Then Benteke with a wonderful move inside. Nearly beats Trap on the second time of asking there with that shot. But uh, uh, unfortunately, it was just our luck that it didn't go in. And then, of course, they had the first attack and it nearly went in. Oh, wait. Thank God that it didn't, because Jack Bolland would not have saved that. He made a good save. He made a good dive towards the uh, towards the ball, but I don't think he was ever going to get there. And then that might, might, mate, 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 what is happening? I don't even want to try saying his name, but their players just, you know, just sidestepped inside and, and had a clear chance at goal, which was just not acceptable. Thiago nearly bent one into the top corner. That would have been a really nice goal, but the first half ended 1-0 to them. So we needed a big second half performance to round off a, uh, a win because we don't want to be going into the Inter Milan match losing because, uh, well, on the back of a loss streak is, is what I want to say, because uh, that is a horrible, denser uh, denser? No. Um, what do you call it? Dampener to morale. So uh, it was really, really, really good that Benteke managed to rise from the corner and whip it in. I never understand why Benteke is default on corners. Uh, it really annoys me. But in the 60th minute, we have a 1-1 uh, equaliser. So uh, so now we, we are on the front foot. We have the whole second half to go out and grab ourselves another goal. Uh, who knows? Maybe even another couple of goals because we really want to make sure that we get a good strong win against Sociedad so we don't have any troubles against Milan in the... Oh, sorry about that, guys. That was my phone. Uh, against Milan in the uh, in the Champions League midweek. So, uh, so yeah. I make some substitutions. I bring on Isaac Cuenca for Iniesta. Iniesta is getting a little bit... Uh, old and tired, so uh, you know, better get some new fresh meat on there. Sergio Roberto has a, uh, a shot, but it was never really going to go in. He tried to cut it, and perhaps should have just gone for the power first time. But then Penteke with a really good example of how to test the keeper. And again, the keeper made a really good save, keeping us out. We cannot win the corner. Penteke whips it in. Somehow, Alexon manages to get to that, and the keeper saves it. So we could have scored already, but then look at this. Look at this. We give away a corner. Guess what happens in last minute corners? Guess what happens in last minute corner? Guess what happens in last minute corners? 90th minute cheese. That's what it was. 90th minute cheese. I mean, my defender's in front of him there. Albeit he's not the tallest. Yes, I'll give him that. But my defender's in front of him. He should not be getting the ball at all. In any case, whatever scenario it is, the defender is first to the ball. He is in front of his man where he should be. He can see the ball before the attacker. And yet the attacker scores. They really, really, really need to do something about that. 90th minute goals as well. So we take a 2-1 loss to Sociedad and now we have a massive massive task to go away to Italy to win in Milan and to win here are the stats by the way tell me that we didn't deserve to win all right they beat us on possession it wasn't really the strongest team that we had out right 12 shots on target for us nine uh, sorry 12 shots altogether nine of them on target so that's three quarters of them on target N more than double their shots and yet they win 2-1 all right fair enough they had possession it wasn't really that much I mean three percent that's nothing and um well, oh, it says it all, really. The stats do the talking. So, look at this lineup. Leandro Diamal, Destro, Rodrigo, Obi, Boateng, Alaba, my old man Alaba in the back, Nagatomo. I mean, they really have some good, good players in all positions, but they could not stop Sergio Busquets scoring the most beautiful goal I have ever seen this season. Number 12, no, wait, number 16. That's my number in real life. Anyway, number 16, Sergio Busquets scores in the 25th minute. And they give us a nice 1-0 lead away against Inter Milan. That's an away goal. I think it might have taken a little bit of a deflection on the way in, but the keeper could not get to it. And it gave us a crucial, crucial lead. Ola John on the... Well, it was going for finesse on the top corner. To me, that was a little bit of a foul, but that was all the chances in the first half. The second half livened up a bit. It says Fabregas opening up the play to uh, a potential shot from Rodrigo and Brosio, but it didn't really come in. Oh, pardon me. I just nudged my mic. I had a hiccup there. Um, and yeah, and then Messi missed. And then Sanchez got on the ball. Uh, did some fake shots, you know, close control, keeping it to his feet to stay uh, away from the defenders. And then Cesc Fabregas hit the post. But Messi was on hand to tap it into the empty net to make it 2-0 in the 63rd minute. And that is his 12th, only his 12th goal of the season. I'm surprised. 
Uh, then again, he is like 30 odd, so uh, he's getting a wee bit old, my man Messi. But it is 2020. So, guys, I, I want to ask you a question as we watch out the rest of the inter gameplay, guys. Have you ever seen, first of all, I want to ask you if you've ever seen a career mode that has over 250 episodes in FIFA 13? FIFA 12 doesn't count, FIFA 13 only. Uh, in fact, let's make it over 200 episodes. I know Tom LFC Heaven has a really nice career mode, over 200 episodes in. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a subscriber of his. I really like his content, so that's good. Um, 200 episodes is a big, big, big thing, but 250 episodes. Has anyone got a career mode in FIFA 13 with over 250 episodes? That's what I want to know. All right? That's what I want to know. And uh, I also want to know how far you guys have gotten your own personal career modes. I'm sure you all play career mode in, uh, you know, in FIFA um, you might not necessarily record it and put it on YouTube, but I'm sure you play it. So uh, I'm in 2020, as you can see in the moment, it's, it's February 23rd, 2020. So I want to know if you guys uh, have gotten to, uh, to the year 2020. That's my question to you. So anyway, uh, because of our loss in the league, we're now down to 50 points, 7 points behind Real Madrid. That is a big, big task. But then again, we do have one game less than them. So, uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, elsewhere, Milan won 2 0. Chelsea got a 1 1 draw away at Wolfsburg and uh, Bayern beat Juventus. But anyway, guys, it is coming towards the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed it, if you could please leave a like, I'd very much appreciate it. And apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!